It's time for Taste to Peel, and if you want to make a real homemade Italian dish in the comfort of your own home, this recipe will satisfy the whole family and take you on an inexpensive trip to the beautiful country of Italy. Molly and Stefan Ferrioli are from Frankie's Ristorante Italiano in Lenox, joining us to make Frankie's Carbonara. Thank you for being here, Stefan and Molly. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So it, it, has, it hasn't really um, started to smell great yet because you're just boiling water, but I'm assuming it's <laughs> going to smell pretty tasty in here because you're making spaghetti alla carbonara. Spaghetti alla carbonara, yes. So it's a typical dish from northern Italy, actually, not from the south, north of Rome. That consists of uh, pancetta. Many people use bacon, but you really need to use pancetta. Some shallots, some uh, egg yolk, cream, Parmigiano Reggiano and some fresh parsley. So pancetta, not bacon. That's pancetta, really not bacon. And if you can find guanciale, which is the jaw of the pig, the meat, that's the ultimate. And that makes it real authentic and yeah. really special, right? So what is the first step in making this recipe? And first it step is you just tiny bit of oil in a hot pan, and after we're going to incorporate the pancetta and fry the pancetta. All right. So you fry that up. Yeah. Pancetta will release some fat as well, which is very nice. The pan needs to be hot because the pancetta will stick to it and get brown. And this is a key to the taste of a very nice carbonara. Nice and hot. Well, we can see that steaming. So, yeah. Molly, it, it really is of authentic Italian food at Frankie's. It's not a lot of places you can go and actually take a trip to Italy right here in Western Mass. Exactly. We try to make things from Stefan's family in northern Italy. So we use a lot of his old family recipes. It's really simple, just good Italian food, mm -hmm. and we're very consistent. We have a great staff. It's a really warm and friendly environment, and the food is great. Oh, Italian food. Everyone loves Italian everyone food, loves right? Everyone loves Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, so I added so, some shallots to it. Now oh, there's gonna, the smell. Yeah. There's the smell. So it has to be shallots, not any other kind of onion, right? Some people can use onion. You can even throw a little bit of garlic. I really prefer the shallots because they are sweeter than onions and not such a pungent taste. Sweeter. Now, I have a question. It's kind of a personal question. Do they make you cry when you cut them, shallots? Do they make me? Do they make you cry? <laughs> Shallots, yes, they as well. They do. Not oh. as much as the onions, though. See, that would be a perk. OK, if it's not as much, because that's always, I always find that they make me tear up. And you see what yeah, I did? I just deglaze everything with um, some white wine. So all um, the grease from the pancetta that was stuck at the bottom of the pan, thanks to the wine, it deglaze everything. That's where you get all your taste. Oh, and it just, does it matter what kind of white wine you use? No, or? it doesn't okay. matter. And just before it's all reduced, you can incorporate the cream. Oh, now is there a way that this recipe could go horribly wrong? If you, if, is there anything that you can really do to mess it up? There is only one thing that can really mess it up is when you add the egg yolk. You need to add the egg yolk once uh, the pasta is cooked and not in the pan. Because if you incorporate it while you're cooking, mm -hmm. it's going to make you kind of an omelette. Oh, okay. So you have to be really careful <laughs> just to put it on the cooked pasta and the egg yolk will cook by itself, but exactly how it should be. Okay, so we want to make sure we don't make an omelet. This is exactly. an authentic exactly. Italian dish. Yeah, exactly. Now, Lennox up, at, up in the Berkshires, it just must be such a beautiful, beautiful atmosphere right now. It is, especially right now. There's a lot of people up watching the, the leaf changing colors and it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a beautiful area. I can imagine. Well, we will just keep continuing this recipe, but uh, we won't show, we won't, we'll make sure that we show everyone how to incorporate the egg yolk yep. so that you don't mess it up. So thank you so much. We're not done yet. It's already smelling so good. And this recipe is not complete. We'll add the finishing touches in just a bit. Remember, you can always visit us online at mymassafield.com later today for the full recipe. And and we took a trip to Italy here in the Massapil Kitchen and are finishing up this recipe for Frankie's Carbonara. Molly and Stefan Ferrioli are from Frankie's Ristorante Italiano to share the dish with us. Mm -hmm. So we're back together in the kitchen. Yep. Now what you did from the first part is we just added some parsley basically yep. and Fresh the pasta. Fresh parsley, we cook the pasta, make sure you always cook it al dente, that's how it's the best. And as well I kept a little bit of water from the pasta that I incorporate into it always. That's really? something well for the sauce. And what we talked about for the egg yolk, so you make sure that you're completely off the stove. You just incorporate your egg yolk in it on the warm pasta. And you just have two egg yolk there? Yep. Okay. And you just mix it up inside. You see it's still very hot, very warm, but at least it's not cooking. And it gives you a very nice color to the pasta. Oh, after the pasta's in, right? We don't want yep. any scrambled eggs. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not as... 
and you mix it. So it's going to cook, but you know, not cook completely, completely to the point of giving you like a... Like a, an omelet, exactly. like you talked about earlier. Yeah. Oh, wow, this smells so, so good. Now, Molly, what is your favorite Italian dish? I'm sure that's a, a hard question to answer. This is one of them. This is a great, one of our great dishes. We also make a fantastic lasagna, which is unique to Stefan's father's recipe, Franco's recipe. Franco's famosa lasagna. Oh, well, that's, you're sharing your family secrets with it. I mean, we're not sharing them, but you mean you're, you're um, letting people try your family yeah. recipes, which is really special. Well, you shared this one. Thank you for yeah. sharing this <laughs> recipe. And so then you topped it off? With uh, some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, so that has been aged for at least six months from the region of uh, Parma in Italy, and uh, some uh, fresh parsley. And some black pepper. And like. some, yeah. and some black, black pepper. pepper. And then you serve it with, what would you suggest pairing it with? I mean, you have cream so, and bacon, so a nice Italian white would go, would go perfect. Oh, like, man. Uh, yeah. This is just, I want to sit down and have a nice meal right now with some nice wine. I mean, obviously, I can't have wine, but, you know, one day. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you for sharing this recipe. It does. It smells great. Can't wait to try it. Thank and you for having us. It sounds like a authentic Italian food.